Hey y'all. So yeah, I'm in the house, in my ulu, my in my office. My thing is today I want to talk about deciding on a destination. Now, yesterday I went to a high school graduation, children near and dear to my heart, and I cried, 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 happy tears, because it was a journey definitely to get them where they were in order for them to graduate. It's hard for munchkins to decide what they want to do with their lives. And that's natural because they're young and they don't really have anything to base life experience on. But when you're 40, like me, and you reach a point in your life where you're at a crossroad, you're not happy with what it is that you want to do or, or did or wanted to do or doing, that's a point where it's kind of like, all right. I have to decide. So not many people know about, at the beginning, I used to work inside of a New York City school. And I made the very hard decision not to come back in September when the school year started. And because of that decision, I was like, okay, I have to weigh the pros and the cons steady income versus hustle and bustle <laughs> and doing what I got to do in order to make it everything work. And I had to make a decision on what it is that I really wanted to do that was going to contribute to my happiness. And even though it was a hard decision and I left the munchkins that I loved there, I remembered, not remembered, I based my decision on the munchkin that I have. And was I showing him a good example on following my bliss and letting him know through my example that you can actually do the things that you love and flourish and do good. And it was the best decision that I made in my life besides having him. And when you make a decision on a destination... Because there's, there's, not, there's one thing when you're like, I'm going to leave the house. That's a good decision. <laughs> but when you decide on where you're going to go, it gives you aim. It gives you purpose. And it's like when you leave the house to go on a trip. So you gas up the car. You might get some snacks. You go and you do and you program the GPS. You program the GPS to go where it is that you're going, because sometimes you don't know where you're going. You just know that you want to get there. So sometimes you step out on faith and you use life's GPS. You follow your instincts. You go after the things that you said that you're going to do. But it first comes when, when you decide to make a change in your life or to go forward. And you won't get anywhere unless you decide to leave decide on a destination decide that you just want to start and when you make that decision to start you find roads you find things that help you find the purpose things that you really want to do trust me it's the truth and just like those munchkins that graduated yesterday they're finding their path and I'm excited for them just like I'm excited for you because there's no age on this. It is never too late to rejoin your life. You have to make a decision of whether or not this is for you. And you go after what it is to be happy. And if you're happy where you are, be happy where you are. Just remember that if you're not growing, you're dying. So there has to be something within you. And it's, you know, content. You can be content, but don't be so comfortable. Grow in some way. Don't say I'm perfect as is because nobody's perfect as is. Maybe you're fine where you are physically, but maybe you want to do something mentally or emotionally. Give back to the world in some way. But move forward. And everybody has to move forward. I don't care how old you are, but move forward. Y'all have a great day. And you are loved.